What's up guys, it's your boy Street Drebus, and I'm sorry for not posting in so long. Um, but I got something different for you guys today. We're gonna we're gonna be going over my last tournament match uh for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. For those those of you that don't know, I do do Jiu Jitsu. I've been doing it for about six, seven months now, and this is my second tournament. Um, and it was pretty fun. Uh, we were doing the tournament as a fundraiser to send these three to work, and they did pretty good. All right, well, let's get into it. So my first match was against Jake. Uh, Jake's a blue belt. I know he has a white belt here, but he literally just got promoted. So I lost to a blue belt, okay? So I lost a couple seconds of the start, but he takes me down here. I get my butterfly guard. I'm trying to sweep him or bring his head in. But he does a pretty good job of just pushing my hips away. I try getting my guard back, but he, again, he's has his knee in there. I can't do much. He's blocking my hip from doing anything. So I'm trying to get my spider guard. That doesn't have a bit of a half guard, but not too much. And this kid is freaking strong. This is this a good yep? I'm trying to get his hand out of there. Now he's mounted. He has me in the side mount. You can't see it, but I think he was trying to get me in a bow and arrow choke. I have that half guard still. I don't want his foot to come out. He does a pretty good job. Yep, he holds my arm. Thread of an arm bar there. Yep, try to sweep him over, but he just hip bumps me. We'll roll him over. It's not a sweep, so I don't get any points for that. Or maybe I do, never mind. So here, I'm trying to get out of his guard, but getting out of someone's guard is so fucking hard. Especially with these on, they're just pulling on your sleeves. He tries to get me with that waiter sweep, but I sit on his leg or arm. And he has me by the neck. A little bit of an Ezekiel one, that. I get out of that. I think he's going for the scissor sweep. I'm trying to get his grips off of me, but that's hard too. He has my arm in for a triangle, but I get out. I'm trying to get that knee on belly, but he's pretty good of uh, shrimping away from me. I'm still trying to get that knee on belly there, but he has that his right, no, his left knee in, so it's hard for me to do much. And then he does a pretty good job of. I think this is an old school sweep. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I think he's going for the old school sweep. And I try picking him over, but like I said, this kid is strong. So I try to keep my knee in to keep him from getting points, but he does a pretty good job. He flattens me out. He gets the points and the on belly. Almost, oh, I'm giving him my back pretty much. Dumbass motherfucker. He has my back there, he has his hooks in, he gets the points.
So I have to take care of the choking arm before I can really do anything. But he has a pretty strong grip. Squirming out. He does a good job. I try to get my feet back in to get my guard, but he does a pretty good job of getting past my feet. And I go for a last minute guillotine and Time right now. Good job, Jake. This kid's a monster. He just won. Uh, I think the Denver World Open. I'm sorry if I butchered the. I think it's IB. Well, anyways, he lost his first match. I got the bye. So I got the. I think the loser of his match, which was him. And so even though I lost, I was already eliminated. So he ended up going to the finals. And man, that kid is a beast. All right, now on to the second match. We did have an absolute match bracket. Oh my gosh, I'm so terrible at this. And so that weight doesn't count. And so there I faced the second blue belt, Tyler. Yes, he weighs more than me, or I weigh more than him, but don't get it twisted. This kid can... Grapple. I am sorry about the quality, guys. It, it's not the best now since I have to zoom in. But I'm working on trying to get a good camera to record, record my rolls. And here we go. As again, this is the absolute division. Weight class doesn't matter here. I think probably like a 40 pound difference here. I'm 180, he's in the 140s. But this kid's really technical. I do a collar drag, but he does a good job of getting back up. A little bit of a roll, and so I have him in the guillotine. I feel like it's tight. And so I'm trying not to exhaust all my strength. I'm trying to let him move into it more, but he's doing a pretty good job of getting out of it. He gets out, does a good job, but I still have a lock in, but at this point it's not doing much. So we roll him back over, and then I feel like I have it again, but I can't get my hips under him to really finish it. He gets out. He's a dog. Back up to the standing game. All I had to do was sit down. I'm trying to go for a triangle here, but he's... My knee is stuck on his chest and I can't get it out. So I make him sit. It's like a half butterfly guard. Go here. There we go. I'm in that butterfly guard. Oh, get this. You know what he asked in the middle of it? Since he just got promoted to blue belt. Tyler, if you're watching this, he stops the match and asks, can I ankle lock and wrist lock since I'm a blue belt? And keep in mind, I'm not even a blue belt, so I can't do it. And sure enough, he says yes. <laughs> and so we have a little laugh. Grab his dick and twist it. But it's all love, Tyler. I try to go for the Oma Plata here, but he does a pretty good job of getting his hips over me. So I can't extend his shoulder up. Or move his shoulder up, sorry. I'm trying to roll him over here, but he does a good job of kind of getting me in a triangle, even though it's not fully locked in. So I got the neon belly. I wait for the points. 
He does a good job of squirming. He sits me down. No. <laughs> so here I got that half. It's not locked in all the way, but I get a triangle. Bit inverted. And here, since I have his arm isolated, I'm trying to go for an arm bar or a Kimura. But he does a pretty good job of getting his knee pretty close to my face. And keeping his hand under his thigh. And so I'm trying not to let him get on top of me like that, but I end up letting him. And here it feels tight. At least where my knee is. But as you can see there, his arm is pretty free, so he gets out. I gotta get my knee back in and replace my guard. Sweep him over. He goes for the arm bar. I kind of stack him. Gotta pull my elbow out. And here, I think he has me in a trying... Or the, what looks like a triangle. But I just posture up. Break it down. I try to roll over. <laughs> I got like a semi. I'm pretty much just sitting on him with a half triangle. He has my arm, I think. Yeah, he has my arm in between his legs. So it's hard for me to really do much. So here I just sit up, <laughs> trying to I get into side control, try to keep him flat. Oh, I'm back onto knee on belly. Keeps his armors together because he knows I could go for the armbar there, so he does a good job about that. Going to the north south. I try to break his grip so I can get that Kimura or Americana, whichever. Time's up. Yeah, that was that match. I won that one by points. Um so I moved on to the next round in the obsolete division <laughs> and this next one i got my ass beat so this guy is ryan he's a four stripe blue belt and let me tell you this kid does not move like a blue belt he is way better than a blue belt Ooh, sorry about the quality again guys second division if you can make anything out of my face you know i'm you can tell i'm gonna have a hard time with this kid he grabs my grip i'm trying to break it he goes to sweep me keep me off balance he shoots, I try to sprawl, but he does a pretty good job of taking me down before I can even sprawl. So here, I'm trying to get my knee back in to replace my guard, but he does a pretty good job of moving himself towards the, my back. From here, I'm trying to get my knee in. I trap his arm, but that doesn't do much, so I get a, I get a chance to turn into him to replace my guard, but... I end up just going into this uh, setup for a Kimura. I defend it, try to keep my knee in to push him off of me. Does a pretty good job of sitting up. Turns around. I think he has, yeah, he kind of has a lapel choke in. He goes to mount. I try to sweep him, but he's pretty. He's really good on, on about 
distributing his weight pretty well. He gets me on my side. I can feel him going for the lapel. He has it pretty much around my neck at that point. And I tap. This kid's a dog, man. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know I suck, but... This kid has it in him, man. But yeah, that was my second tournament. I do have footage from my first tournament, but I'm having trouble converting it over to post. Um, let me know if you guys want me to post that, and I think I'm going to start posting videos of just me rolling with uh, my teammates during training. Yeah, it was really fun. It was for a fundraiser to send these three to Worlds, and I hope they get to get get to go to Worlds and do good. And this goes to show you that Jiu Jitsu brings all people from the walks of life together. But the one thing we all have in common is that we all get beat by a kid failing algebra. Shout out to you, Jake. Well, cool. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll keep posting more. Thank you.